Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical report events and in the previous video we finished with add line selection event. Before we jump on to add user command and top of page during line selection, firstly I will cover two important statements in interactive classical report. One is hide statement and one is get cursor statement. Now, never, never tell in any interview that hide is a interactive classical report event, get cursor is a interactive classical report event. They are not events. They are the statements which you can use in the interactive classical report. So events are at line selection, at user command, top of page during line selection. They are the events. These are the statements which you can use in interactive classical reports. Suppose in the previous video, what we did, we simply displayed the basic list. We took the requirement. We are firstly displaying the order numbers on the basic list. If I will log in, we displayed the order numbers on the basic list from the order header table and whenever user is double clicking on a order number or user is putting the cursor and doing F2 or user is simply putting the cursor and clicking onto the button. Yes, at that time we displayed the details of the order number on the secondary list. This is our program which we developed. At that time, what we did? At that time, we have the system variable psi l i s e l. What is this system variable? This system variable is giving us the contents of the selected line. So whenever you will double click, this system variable has the contents of the selected line. We simply took the first 10 characters and that is our order number. And we simply fetch that data from order item table and we displayed. Same to same requirement I can achieve through hide statement also. I can achieve through get cursor also. At the last, I will go for comparison of hide and get cursor also. It is totally your wish in the projects. You want to achieve the requirement by using this system variable. You want to use hide statement or you want to use get cursor. But in any interview, yes, hide and get cursor are mostly asked question. If the interviewer is asking on interactive classical reports and must one, one of the most important point, they are not events. They are the statements which you can use in interactive classical report. Now, these statements I will use for same to same requirement. So firstly, we will understand what is hide statement. Hide statement is one of the most important and fundamental statement for interactive reporting. Now, we can use hide statement to store the line specific information while creating a basic list. So whenever we will go for basic list, we will simply, simply store the line specific information using which particular statement 
hide statement but word itself is same it will not be visible to us it will be hidden but yes it will be stored but it is hidden it will not be visible to us suppose if i am running this particular program i will use the hide statement suppose i am giving the input 1 to 5 so whenever i will click on to this execute button you all know the first list which is coming that is called as basic list so whenever basic list will appear at that time itself i will store this information using the hide statement i will store the line specific information using hide statement it means i will store this line also this line also this line this line this line so whatever the lines are appearing on the basic list i will store that information using hide statement but that will not be visible to us yes internally sap will store those lines now whenever we will store this line specific information can i use for the secondary list yes i can use for the secondary list if this line information is stored so i can simply get one if this line information is stored i can get two i can get three i can get four i can get five and this is what we want so with the help of hide statement you can store the line specific information when creating the basic list itself and that information you can use while creating the secondary list now what is the syntax for the hide statement simple hide is the keyword and after that you need to pass the variable for which variable you want to hide the information in our case we need to hide for this we need to hide for this we need to hide for this 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 so it means we will simply simply pass these variables will simply simply pass these variables once the practical will start yes you will automatically understand how i will go for hide statement so i will pass hide for order number order date payment mode and currency yes because i want to store the data of four 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 variables so i will use the hide statement so what is the syntax of the hide hide name of the variable what is the meaning of this above statement the above statement places the contents of variable f into the hide area now from the starting of the topic itself we are saying yes hide statement will store the line specific information now the question comes but where where it will store that area is called as hide area so sap will store that information into the hide area that is called as hide area but will be in that particular hide area hide area has three parts what are those three parts field name field value and the line number whenever we will store the values in the hide area it will be stored based upon three things field name field value and the line number suppose if we will compare it to this particular example what is field name order number what is the value one what is line number if i will consider this line number is one as of now what is this what is field name order date what is the value 11520023 what is line number one what is this what is this column field name payment mode 
what is the value c and what is the line number one what is this inr field name currency what is the value inr what is the line number one similarly if i will go for this line what is the field name order number what is the value order what is the value two what is the line number one same for other things also so in the hide area whenever we will apply hide it will always always store three things what is the column name means field name what is the value and the third thing is what is the line number and at that time whenever we will go for line number this system variable will play a vital role whenever practical will start i will show you in the debugging mode the value of this particular variable as of now i told you one line number two line number but yes when the practical will start i will show you the value of this variable then you will understand in a perfect manner now whenever we will go for hide statement these two prerequisites must be followed and whenever i will show you the practical if i will not follow i will get a wrong result hide keyword or hide statement must be written after the right statement if i will go for our current example because same to same example we will go for hide statement so whenever you will write the data of basic list suppose if i will log in again today server is slow little bit if i will go for same to same program in this program if i want to go for hide statement okay so here we are creating basic list so hide statement i will be used after write after write if i will use hide above write i will get a wrong result and i will show you the practical for the same now second most important thing you should always always use hide inside the loop and that point you can easily easily understand you want to store line specific information it means you need to use hide inside the loop because you want to store the information of each and every line it means hide should be inside the loop so these two prerequisite must be followed so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we are covering the statements hide and we will cover get cursor also after that the first important point never tell in any interview that they are events if someone is asking about events they are at line selection at user command top of page during line selection but yes hide and the get cursor are the statements which will help you in achieving certain requirements in interactive classical report in the previous example we used the system variable to go for secondary list to achieve the requirements on the secondary list now same to same requirement we will achieve through hide statement so with the help of hide what we will do with the help of hide we will store the line specific information of the basic list and yes whenever we will store the basic list line specific information that information we will use whenever we will want to display the secondary list but a syntax for the hide statement hide name of the variable and yes whenever you will use this syntax the contents of the variable f will be in the hidden area then we covered what is hidden area 
hidden area is just like a table which has three columns. What is first column? Line number. You can go for line number, field name, field value. So in our case, yes, line number, field name and field value. Suppose if we will go for line number one, field name, order number and value is one. Just now I show you the example. Now, whenever we will go for line number, this system variable psi l i n n o will play a vital role because SAP will store the line number based upon this system variable. Now, two most important prerequisite and in any interview, these two prerequisites will be asked. You should always, always apply hide and hide statement after writing the right statement. Once you write the right statement, then go for hide statement. And yes, always, always use inside the loop. Yes, because you want to store the line specific information of the basic list. If you want to store the line specific information of all the lines, Yes, yes, definitely we should apply hide statement inside the loop. In the next video, we will start with the practical for the same. And then we will see how this system variable is helping in line number. So that's it in this video. Thank you.